I did it. I left it up there. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to a special live bonus episode of Live Action Star Wars. My name is James. I'm Ralph. And today we are talking about the first and probably only trailer for The Book of Boba Fett. Uh, it literally yeah. just dropped about an hour ago. So right. we scrambled and on two different continents we came together and we're doing a live episode. We're just Freaking Disney freaking disney had to make me get up early and make my bed i was literally having lunch and yeah we both sort of seemed to see it at the same time and we're like well, let's do it let's let's go I, w- I was waiting for breakfast and i'm like shit i hope breakfast gets here in time because <laughs> if i'm sitting here on an empty stomach talking about boba fett it's gonna make me mad at boba fett so luckily <laughs> i had my breakfast good was it good and I like trim my beard and make sure I looked okay and presentable. Um, I had to move some stuff because I'm going on holiday in like 12 hours time. So I, this room is full of junk. Yeah, this, uh, this, yeah, my breakfast was good, by the way. Good. Very good. Um, so we're going to do this. Let's do how we're going to do this is first of all, we're going to bring up the trailer. Mm. Um, letting you guys know we're turning the audio off. I don't want to get pulled off of YouTube. We want mm-hmm. this to be up forever so um we're gonna be watching this without audio um if you haven't seen it yet i guess just come back and join us um and then uh if you happen to be in the live stream whether you're on twitch i don't think twitter will allow you to respond so go to liveactionstarwars.com mm-hmm. and um you could comment in there in case we miss anything so i'm gonna bring up the trailer and it's probably gonna play right away but um that's fine. I'll, pa- I'll pause it real quick. Um, so yeah, no sound. So tat tattooing. Yeah, morning, I mean, we... morning, and tattooing, <laughs> which I, which is is great because we only see one of the suns. Yeah, we do because the other one's still obviously still obscured. Set. Yeah. Um, okay. So my first reaction out of the gate is with this thing. Yeah. Is all right. Okay. Listen. The Bomar monks are still there. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I like nostalgia right out the gate. Oh, yeah. Get it? I understand. I like, I mean, it's why I mean, we it, love Star Wars. It was it's, their palace before Jabba moved in. I know. Hold on one second. I'm gonna, I forgot to close my window. <laughs> sort of been scrambling. Um, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, Oh, no, Ralph, we've lost your audio. You're muted. And he's back. And he's back. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, live streaming. Um, This is is our test run. Right. Here, talk to Scott. I'm going to check my audio. Hey, Scott, how's it going? How are you enjoying the... Okay, those spider things are way more nimble than I remember. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just the fact of you know we've got good cg with these things now as opposed to what would have been i guess a stop motion thing in the background or an actual puppet it was like a giant it was like like a giant Giant yeah Yeah. i mean that's what they always look like i feel like that gave him a creepier sort of movement though (laughs) uh but still star wars doesn't care about people that don't like spiders between the second episode of season two of mandalorian and this like if you don't like spiders then Mandalorian takes place what five years after Jedi? Yeah. So they could have gotten an upgrade. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we'll we do don't it. know what they've been up to. Like, <laughs> we'll, we'll try to find some stupid way to fit this fit this into like continuity. Definitely. I mean, the, yeah. you go back to like the old books, like the uh, Tales from Jabba's Palace has an entire story about the the Bomar monks. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember right. it, but I'm pretty sure they're. Yeah. Do you, I don't think it'll be brought up. But I think it's since they're now brought up in this show, Mm -hmm. we'll we'll see. We'll we'll get more of it inside a a comic or something. So we're at Jabba's Palace. I guess, you know, like, I don't know. I could have used like a shot of just that dude that eats the toad. That's what I was expecting. When when it opened, I was expecting just the the licky tongue guy. Like, yeah. Your expectations were subverted. Uh, Straight Mm. away. Yeah. Oh, wow. So already it's doing its job. All right. So we got a Boba Fett helmet. Okay. Yeah, but being given to him some droid. Yeah, is that a pit droid? It looks, it looks like, like a pit droid. It looks like a pit droid or some variation of. 
The which... helmet's definitely a little bit more dinged up than it was at the end of Mando. Yeah. Well, He's got and some the thing is, scratches back on it. That's probably not Jabba's palace. It could be, but why would you have a pit droid mm, indoors? So possibly he's taking the he's he has a pit droid to take care of the slave one. Oh, I mean the what is it called? Uh, Boba Fett starship. I thought they gave it a, a didn't they give it a goofy name? I don't know. Oh, the man. Up sixty nine. Yeah, whatever it was called. It was oh, what was it called? It was called the something's. Oh jeez, I'm a bad Star Wars fan because this is fairly new. It was called like the uh, the fiery the oh fire... the fire spray the fire spray yeah fire yeah. spray is just like the, the that was always like the model that's what the the oh. uh, fire spray patrol craft or something um, yeah, that yeah. was like the the ship model so I think they've just gone with the the model name as opposed to it's like okay. the Falcon being a, a YT twelve hundred um, right yeah it's just that yeah yeah it's it's the it's the type the generic the, the make it's yeah. the make. Um, is this Tatooine? I don't think so. Oh, and mm-hmm. if it is, it's doing well for itself. I f- but all these people seem a little bit more surprised to see them. Um, yeah. And then we get the shot that immediately got me into it. Uh, yeah, we are. Um, we are definitely right. nerds. Um, right. But my beard is like a natural white. My beard is actually 1987 George Lucas. Oh, there you go. Mine, Sorry, my my face is 1987 James. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't this, aged. So, so this is uh, if it's not Tatooine, I believe I think it's Tatooine because it sounds okay. like he's going out to Jabba's sort of second in commands. So or the lieutenants who are right. sort of yeah. So I'm assuming, like, do you think the and I know the huts? They say the huts control, or Obi Wan said, or uh, Qui Gon said that the huts control um, Tatooine. Tatooine. Yeah, Do, it's not in mean... hot space, but like it's. Yeah, it's so I'm assuming like... this is this is all these are all people on Tatooine. These are all like warlords of Tatooine. Yeah. So, uh, I love that we're seeing an Ithorian. He's got his like vocal things that he can talk out of his two mouths, yeah. and it be understood. Um, <laughs> he looks badass, like those dogs from Up. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Let me tell you except the dogs from up even though they had a translator on their neck somehow knew how to fly airplanes um <laughs> i won't get into it i won't get into it um but the uh according to um adam fraser adam fraser on twitter mm-hmm. was posting screenshots and going through the the trailer mm-hmm. he said that there was a rumor or some sort of confirmed thing that there was a character named hammerhead uh, okay there so this Athorian might be actually named Hammerhead. Ham- as oh, like interesting. a code name. Yeah, there you go. While back there was a report about a villain named Hammerhead. Wasn't sure if it was an actual name or a reference to the character the species. Looks like it's the species. Always delighted to see an Athorian show up. That was Adam <laughs> Fraser on Twitter. Cool. So yeah. I mean I mean I, again, I love Kenner. Athorians as well. They're great. We're getting back to to uh Kenner. And we've heard it's not like uh, the term hammerhead isn't unheard of. We heard hammerhead Corvette in Rogue One. That's true. So this might be a nickname. Yeah. Hey, you look like one of those. You look like one of those <laughs> blockade runners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we we'll call you hammerhead. I mean, it's the same thing as like calling them sand people, though, isn't it? It's like it's probably um, a derogatory term that they are used to hearing. Right. Um. It's like the you know it's it's a slur. In the Star Wars galaxy, oh, and, he's, them... and he took that slur, and he's now maybe, maybe if he's yeah. actually going by it, um, right. or at least like other gangsters refer to him as Hammerhead or something. <laughs> but he's got a Twi'lek like, uh, assistant there, or a major domo of some sort. Like, yeah, Twi'leks are always yeah. in that supporting role. What's funny is in the, like the sequel trilogy, we don't get a lot of classic Cantina aliens. None of them. And in this, we're getting Jabba Palace aliens and classic Cantina aliens. Mm. Um, I I've brought it up before, and I'll bring it up again. It's probably yeah. every show I bring it up. I don't care for character cameo of the week, um, but 
species i'm all for it background Same. species need to show up in the background and make to make it star wars Especially it's my if, one gripe it's my one gripe with galaxy's edge is they don't have cantina aliens walking yeah, around the, that, the area that absolutely should uh i'm disappointed to learn that um <laughs> you've ruined it yeah. for me already um yeah. if yeah i mean if this is tatooine as you expect then it makes sense we've seen these characters kicking around on tatooine and i've always sort of got that feeling of that planet that it's a melting pot. The Tuscans are sort of the native Tatooiners, mm -hmm. but the all the others, it's it's a hub world where it's like it's where people just sort of it's the dregs of the galaxy always end up on Tatooine. It's like well, like, so what are the chances? Goes there. What are the chances of this dude being the Hammerhead from the same one Star Wars? I mean, I the Cantina is a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Yeah, he could be there doing shady stuff. We're what eight just years like, removed from and then, that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Possibly. he could be moving up in the ranks. I don't want to see a flashback of him sitting in the cantina talking to those dudes. Yeah, but, see him punda baba lose an arm and stuff like that. Right. So if there's something where a bit of dialogue, <laughs> like if the who who's he talking to in the cantina? Is he talking to the dude that hits his little? chin nub oh, is, whoever he's talking to, to that guy comes in and mm. based on context clues we need to figure out that that's the same dude that's the same except one. now yeah. he's older he's kind of graying much like uh him. scott scott's wondering what we think the controls on the chair do uh i think yeah butt massager definitely <laughs> a heater yeah dude, I, I don't know we don't, we don't really know too much about that species do we like i think in in legends they were always like on jungly foresty planets and stuff like that so it could be like atmosphere and temperature controls and stuff like that yeah could be yeah it could be i mean they he this this uh, person who i'm assuming is some sort of servant um it's probably bit fortuna's brother um <laughs> they killed they killed my brother boba bob, came and killed it's, it's my brother bob fortuna <laughs> yeah <laughs> bib and bob but Notice how they're standing off to the side. The button controls can also be like another rank or pit. Could be. Uh, or it's just his TV and we're we're seeing it from the TV's point of view. Okay, I have a I have uh this is going to be my prediction for the end of episode one of this mm -hmm. series, is we're gonna get a pan down, like in Lost, pan down into the rank or pit, drop see another rank through two rancor eggs in the corner and they crack Ooh. Cut, the black. cut the black so you get the end of <laughs> you get the end of lost and the end of game of thrones season ones sure i never watched game of thrones i saw one episode of game of thrones <laughs> so but i i yes i'll say yes cool. oh boba fett's there what's this place all right yeah what place? is this place this is the one that uh again adam frazier has been talking a lot on twitter so he thinks that this is uh this could be Jeddah. i hope it's not for the same reason I don't that know you, if that's Jeddah. I don't think it could be Jeddah. Like he's thinking that possibly um, it's that's built the, in the crater remains. from the Death Star. Could be. Could oh, be. I kind of like it though. We've seen we've seen Jeddah in comics, which are canon. I know you don't read any of them, but like we've seen Jeddah in the original trilogy, time post the the planet being hit, and it's way more fucked up. Why like, would it, I'm I'm trying to think? Why would Boba Fett leave Tatooine for any reason? If he's trying to build up the hut, his his new empire. That's a good point. So you think this could be on Tatooine still? Um, I could, I mean, it could be. It could be anywhere. Yeah, but I mean, we don't know of like big. It's got the Washington it's, Monument. It's got the Washington Mon Monument there. It's got a, a, a phallic building in the foreground. Mm. Like the mm. the architecture, when you look at all the domes and stuff on the buildings, it does look a lot like Tatooine, but. I don't know. I mean, it's the biggest place that we've seen. And that, I know, that's another one of those towers. I thought that was a waterfall over on the, the left-hand side there, but it's not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could be tattooing. Yeah, they're like elevators. Looks like yeah. there's elevators. Yeah, um, like the crater walls. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, it, it's, I don't, I kind of want to just stay on Tatooine. But I, at the same time, cool like, like, I feel the same for, for Obi-Wan. Kenobi. See, I, I don't think that Kenobi is going to stay on Tatooine. And I really am like, oh, because I want him to stay on Tatooine. He feels like he should stay on Tatooine. But also, if this is Jeddah, this would be safe for the Obi-Wan series, I believe. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, 
I don't know. Well. I mean, we've we've seen Moss Eisley. We've seen a few different of the the Moss places we know of Anchorhead, um, but we've not seen any other cities in Tatooine. So this could be anywhere. I suppose it could be. Could be the capital. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I guess looked... populating populating Tatooine makes it less of a sort of on the outside of the galaxy. Yeah. 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 And this looks too big of a city. Like, cause it sprawls like even up on top. Um, yeah. It's a big old place wherever this is. Uh, I thought maybe character. I thought cause we've seen the Ithorian just before. So maybe, I don't know. It doesn't fit oh, yeah. the old descriptions, but whatever. Uh, that ship that's flying in looks like a razor crest. We can't see it where we are there. Um, Go back. It, it looks like a razor crest type ship. I don't think it's going to be the razor crest that we see from Mando, but design wise, it's got the same sort of profile. Right. Who's that guy? Who's this guy? Who are these guys? All these guys. Yeah, who are these guys? Let's see a Gamorrean guard back there. Or I yeah, guess it would just be a Gamorrean. It's not yeah. necessarily. They're not all guards. Some of them no. are boxers. The yeah, some boxer. of them like to wrestle. <laughs> some of them do tope suicidas out of a ring, and it's amazing. <laughs> It looks like this looks like Tatooine. This definitely looks like Tatooine. With the, again, we've got Camorians in the background, and I think like this is just trailer editing. Like this, these aren't all the same scenes, right? But I like, like that. Like this is Boba Fett saying, "Like, look, Jabba ruled with an iron fist. I'm more willing to talk. Let's talk." Um, he'll throw down when he needs to throw down, as we all soon yeah. see. But like, he wants to have these discussions first. I wonder if this is if they're using the volume a lot to, to shoot so. these. Um, but I mean, for this, this could be a, a, a set because if they know they're also going to have Kenobi in Tatooine. Yeah, we know that they built some live sets, didn't they, for Kenobi? And also, yeah. Rodriguez shot the least with the volume than anyone, apparently, for mm -hmm. his episode. Um, yeah. So he said that he really likes the technology and everything, but if he's more keen to do live stuff than yeah if they can double up some tattooing stuff then why wouldn't I, they i feel like if you're shooting on location you're sort of just limited to the constraints of that location yeah. when you have the volume and anything is possible like are you like okay can you move this rock into this part of the frame and it, it probably you would get more bogged down with the visuals as opposed mm. to yeah yeah <laughs> good morning cook good morning insurance salesman they do it all yeah <laughs> they're not just they're more than just guards yeah yeah uh see i've got the closed captioning up on the version that i'm watching over here and yeah. boba sort of saying uh i intend to rule with respect i really like right. it. it's like he's doing it differently like he's here to rule yeah. he's not making any bones about that he's gonna rule but he's is, it gonna... a, is this a commentary on fandom <laughs> oh maybe um uh -huh. I don't think so. I don't think they're being that deep. I don't think they want to acknowledge. <laughs> I don't think they even want to acknowledge the toxic fans. Um, yeah. What do you think of this font? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool, I guess. It's pretty it's different. Weird that it comes in. I like that it spins in like um, the fugitive. <laughs> and like the solo one, though. The solo title uh, I guess so, yeah, is huh? pretty similar. Aerial shots of Jabba's Palace. Yeah, I love them. They look pretty. Uh, what do you the, think those two dots the are on the sand? I was going to say, it's, it's not R2 and 3PO, but that entranceway looks like it's definitely got dustier than we last saw it. it the, the path seemed a bit more defined in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Um, but that's the same doorway, I assume. But again, I like seeing Jabba's Palace, this Change. building that we've seen from for so many years, but we've always sort of seen one or two angles. Yeah. Um, so I like seeing all these different <laughs> landscapes. Yeah, I remember. I think there was a job palace scene in one of the uh, old Battlefront games. Yeah, one of the old battle, uh, and also in like the old Rogue Squadron games. Um, you can yeah. fly like some whenever they had Tatooine. Basically, whenever you're on Tatooine, you're gonna see all the locations that you know. So you could like fly X wings past Jabba's palace and stuff like that. Oh, here, here, uh, this this comment here. Do you want to become famous by followers and viewers? Cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So I guess I guess we're live on Twitch too. Yeah, so from a, from a Twitch that feels bot. very Twitch. Thanks, Ahmed four twenty zero. Okay, hold on. 
Trend Oceans. Trend Oceans. Look better here than they did, I think, in Mandalorian. They look Way more better. like classic trilogy. They more look, they look more like Trend Oceans. Yeah. Are they CG? I can't. I it's think it's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. I feel like the one in red who His definitely looks more weird. regal. Yeah, he looks like he's got some CG elements to him for sure. But so these... we're looking at we're looking at probably ten years since we saw Bosk in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, so it would have been Did he have gone up in the ranks six months and then. But I mean, he also knew Boba. Like he and Boba have a lot yeah. of history. Um, yeah. Possibly. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to be Bosk. Um, I feel like if it's Bosk, we're seeing the jumpsuit. I mean... Star Wars characters don't change so. clothes. Background Star Wars characters don't change clothes that often. Um, I I, dude, like, dude, you know, you have no idea how yeah. excited I'll be. Um, hopefully this scene is just to establish that they speak English in live action. Yeah, or they have. Be. They can, or not. I mean, basic. I'm sorry. My apologies. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe we'll get Bosk. And who are the? These are Klaatu, Barata, Klaatu or Barata. <laughs> one or the yeah. other, isn't it? Yeah. Um, they're not Nikto. Nikto are the other ones. Um, I think it it might be Barata. I don't know. It's Klaatu or, or Barata. I think. Uh, it looks like they're eating ribs though. I've got a bigger shot of it and. They look really good. It looks like they've got a big old tray of rib bones Tip, in the middle there. Tipiup? No. Tipiup? I've had ribs at Galaxy's Edge. They're very okay. good. And cool. they come with a they come with a blueberry corn muffin. So it's like cornbread, but with blueberries in it. Nice. Um, highly recommend if you're a meat eater. Um, if you're not a meat eater, the salad they have there is super good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and if you uh, don't want to pay rent or want to remortgage your house, get both. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, well, you get one of each if you're with people. Oh, well, yeah. And then you like then you just share. Yeah. yeah. Tapas. <laughs> uh, anything of interest here? These are Gamorian guards. I feel I like mean, these guys are guarding. They are definitely guarding um, back here. Yeah, behind Boba. So he's he's already started like hiring on new help. Because yeah. it, it seemed like when he and Fennec went into the palace, they kind of cleared house, it looked like. So he's now, he's probably gone in and offered them all jobs. He said, like, look, this was what you were on before. I'll give you a 5% pay increase. Um, and you stay on and you'll not be fed to the Rancor anymore. <laughs> Rancor's dead. Rancor's dead. For now. Uh, yeah, for now. Man, I wonder how Jabba got that Rancor. Um, <laughs> there, do you want to go is there? there? Anything I could watch? Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, Kirk Francis asks, "What if Bosk flies a Y wing?" I would. Pro you would. I would still have tears in my eyes by the time we recorded that episode live here on LiveActionStarWars.com. <laughs> and I would. If he does, I want to know what happened to the uh, the Hound's tooth because love that ship. I think I remember it. Was it kind of pointy? Yeah, it's very yeah. straight. Yeah. Um, Walrus Man. I'm going to call him Walrus Man because we are in the Kenner era of TV. We are definitely in the Kenner era. Um, that entire dinner scene, though, feels so, like, mobster. It feels like something out of, like, The Godfather or something where he's gathering yeah. all the yes. lieutenants around him. I mean, that's my entire, like, thoughts on this trailer in general is that yeah. it feels like a mob movie. Um, this is what got me excited for the show. I mean, definitely. obviously, that's what the trailer's supposed to do, but I'm not a big Boba Fett fan. I was never a big Boba Fett. We've fan. we've discussed it in the um, past. Neither of us like were, but I but, like I liked him a lot in the Mandalorian. Um, but you know, when Lucas set out to make like a samurai western science fiction thing, and the Mandalorian feels like a western show. Yeah. So it's cool to sort of change up genres. Yeah. Like if I want to see Star Wars, I want to see different Star Wars. I would yeah. love a Star Wars horror show. Um, not Lego, but Mike live Flanagan. No, like Mike Flanagan, uh, who did Midnight Mass and the the haunting of Hill House and Bly Manor. Um, mm -hmm. he was tweeting about it recently where he was like, I'd I'd love to do a Star Wars horror movie or show or something. Like, make that happen. I would love to see him do it. Right. Um 
just popped into my head. Are we going to see a lightsaber? In, could, in Boba Fett? could we go for an entire season of something without a lightsaber? I think, I think this is our closest thing, like closest chance. Like I said before, we've only seen Star Wars without lightsabers twice. And that's the Ewok Adventures. Yeah, there you go. So um, it's been a while. Mm. It's been a while. Um, almost got in Rogue One, almost got in Solo. We Didn't came happen. so close in both. And we almost got it in Season 1 of Mando. Again, all of these things like right at the end. Um, yeah. the, the, we see at the, the top bit of... Uh, Jabba's palace, presumably in like in the tower, looks very nice and romantic. Do we think that uh, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand are up there? Is that their shared quarters? It um, certainly looks like it. Sure, I, I think I think they both deserve some happiness together. I'd like to see. Heaven it. forbid they actually have some romance in Star Wars. Exactly. Um, so. I I'm into it. Go for it. Good for them. And he, he seems to be, like, standing behind her at attention, like... Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I feel oh, like... I think, he, a... I think he rules downstairs, but she rules up there. All right. <laughs> I think she's in control when they're behind closed doors. <laughs> I'm just not thinking about Boba Fett downstairs. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going there. <laughs> she was. Uh... Um, yeah, we see some native Tatooiners in the next shot. Yeah. Um, Scott says around the table scene feels a little 90s sci fi to me, akin to Deep Space Nine or Babylon 5. I didn't all for watch it. either. I didn't watch either, but I get what you're saying, especially like with all the different aliens and then like the, the one human or one or two human I, guys. I watched a couple of those, but like back when they aired. Yeah. And it's been probably 30 years now. I mean, it makes sense. Like they are cheaper than doing big battles, don't they? But I like it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that. It's weird saying I like the politics in my Star Wars after well, how many years yeah. of people complaining about politics in Star Wars, but yeah. this sort of thing, like the the dialogue, it's what we were talking about in our um, Empire Strikes Back episode, where I would have loved to have seen that that dinner scene with Vader and when they captured right. Han and Leia. Like I want to see them sit down for dinner. This it's not that exactly, but it's that sort of thing. It's one of my favorite Star Wars scenes is the scene where Marty gets choked. Yeah, like. Like yeah, I, I like that too. It'll be, be around fun. the It'll... table conversations, uh, like Luke talking to Owen and Baru. You know, it's those sorts yeah. of scenes do play in Star Wars. And this scene can end up where no one wants to deal with Boba Fett, so he just takes out the room. Yeah, like absolutely, it, be, it should be really uh, interesting. A mobster, like, hey, I, I gave you all the chance, I offered it to you, you said no. <laughs> Every galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, same uh, people. We, um, yeah, same people. We're on Tatooine, establishing shot. Maybe they're the ones walking up to Jabba's palace, the little dots we see maybe, going up. Maybe, and maybe because it's a sandstorm, that's why the road's covered up. Yeah, that, that could be. I like the idea of them like traveling through a sandstorm, though. That feels like it fits because they're not traveling single file. So like, they don't give a shit about hiding their they're numbers here. To, yeah. So yeah. They, they could just be rocking up and like, I don't know, maybe these guys are the guards and we're going to get one badass walking through the middle. Something like that. I like he reminds me. Um, reminds me of the opening shot of the episode one trailer. Yeah, the, 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 the coming through. Yeah. The Gungans coming out of the fog. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Tatooine. Definitely. She pulls a knife out of her Fennec, gun. Throws yeah, it. weapon weapons into other weapons. That's always fun. We know classic that she's blaster. Yeah. yeah, just classic blaster. And in... I think once he was back with um. Yeah the 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 fire spray slave one yeah i think he had it back then twilex more twilex and just like a normal dude some normal dudes yeah oh look in the bottom right corner is that the get... bat face person from the cantina or is it the frog <laughs> person from you see it let me bring it up on my bigger one here uh oh yeah it does uh yeah it looks like it yeah, yeah. Classic was that Snaggletooth? Aliens. Was that Snaggletooth? Blue Snaggletooth? No, it. It looks like it looks like the bat. The like yeah, this little bat, Batman. Um, <laughs> is there a Twilight like underground like 
I mean, they've got they've got mobsters, yeah. They're they're spice runners and stuff like that. There's a lot of that, so it would be cool if this person is that. She looks like she's well dressed up for it. Um, spice drugs. Yeah, I've never really. There's, okay. there's like, glitter stim and real. There's lots of different <laughs> spices. Because and... in Rise of Skywalker, Zori Bliss gives shit You're a to spice Poe. Runner? Yeah, like I'm like, what? I don't. I guess spice means drugs. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's. I think it's the same as like you know, it's it can be medicinal. Depends on yeah. if it's prescribed or not. Slave one, mm-hmm. painted. Was it? Uh, I think it's. It looks. It looks pretty similar. I think. Yeah. It's cool though. Great. Wonder if they made yeah. a model. Wonder if Maybe. they made a model like they did with the Razor Crest. Um, okay, nothing we're, new here. We're, we're back to the the dinner scene. Yeah, see this look between Fennec and Boa Fett can it's be like, like if ready? we need to, if we need to take him out, to we're shoot this take guy him out. up. <laughs> yeah, I feel like someone at this table needs to be made an example of, and I know all of this sounds very cliche, but we haven't seen it in Star Wars yet. It, I mean, it it's may have fine. Been and if you're Wars. doing a, a mob show, which is what they look like they're doing with yeah. this, then yeah, someone yeah. needs to get a a rancor head in their bed or something. <laughs> Always a rancor. <laughs> The, uh, maybe a cadu, maybe <laughs> maybe cadu butt in their bed. <laughs> cadu butt, <laughs> Piusa. It's just <laughs> butt. Same so Photoshop a cadu butt in a bed. <laughs> uh, we got coins, coins and a helmet. We had uh, coins in um in uh, in uh, Mandalorian, but hold on, I'm looking at this frame by frame. Which Star Wars, you got to know we're doing this. The inside of this helmet just feels like it's filled with foam. It just looks very empty. <laughs> like it's the, very, the helmet, uh, <laughs> the helmet that I've got back here, I think, has more stuff in it than this. Um, this is a stunt one that they could throw around. Yeah, it looks like, like fi- fiberglass. But why has he got coins in it? Was he like panhandling? <laughs> Was Boba Fett just out on the streets, like busking or something? Maybe. Like it's weird to me. And but like we've seen some coins in uh other things in like some of the animated stuff and i feel like they're like rectangular a lot of the the denominations of coins are <laughs> rectangular so yeah to get them like this yeah does anybody in the chat have any sort of idea why there would be a boba fett helmet filled with coins i can't Please. i can't think of any i can't think like, of anything else other than him just deciding to be a street magician <laughs> Get some sort of laser barriers, I guess. Yeah, I like them. The There's Gungans the had that. The shields are cool. This guy's like, is this like a Yakuza? Maybe. Is this Kanji Club? Oh. I would love, Duquesne. I would Duquesne. love <laughs> if we got some Kanji Club in this show. If there was a, even a reference to Kanji Club, I am into it. Because, yeah. yeah. Or the Gavarian Death Gang or whatever it is, the other one. Yeah. Um Duquesne. That, yeah, yeah. Uh so the, what is it? The yeah, brothers Fett the, says Fett says Christmas special, special collecting for charity. Cool. Yeah, Could maybe. Be. Yep. Um yeah, like the Irving boys, wasn't it? Was the other one. Like that they mentioned <laughs> yeah, all the different so. people that have owned. Yeah, if we get some of those guys, bring it on. I love that. Yeah. Um yeah. Fighting. Boba Fett <laughs> kicking him in some butt. Looking very mad when he's bringing down that axe. Fennec talking. Yeah, this looks like it shows picks that up she's immediately not... from that that sort of bonus scene that we saw at the end of Mando. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you had spoken such insolence to Jabba... Uh, what's the line? If you had spoken such insolence to Jabba, he'd have fed you to his menagerie. So it's almost like, did he have more than just a rancor? So but, that's, I mean, that's the, the Sarlacc, the rancor... But that's what's happening. I think they're saying like the Rancor is dead, so we're just setting up the fact that there's other stuff down there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Fett says, I just want to see uh, a flashback in the holiday special armor. Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah. I think it's my favorite Boba Fett armor. I love every time like you see like a sideshow figure or statue or it's great. some it's action a cool figure, look. like the blue and yellow. 
Yeah. Uh, I love it. Um, Scott says, interesting thought. Boba Fett is supposed to be 41 or 42 years old on this show, I believe. Some hard years on that face. Um, he's, yeah. He's yeah, a Tatooine that's, 41. That's, that's I mean, there 41. you go. We know that Tatooine ages people badly. I mean, look at mm-hmm. Obi-Wan. Also, and we, Owen we're and, not ex- yeah. how long was he being digested before he got out? Well, that's it. We don't know. I, I <laughs> assume that we're going to get some more information on that. Like, Because if it was starting to like eat away at him. Yeah. He also had a so, hard life up to that point. Like from the age of what, 10? He was pretty much a bounty hunter or learning to be a bounty hunter. So yep. yeah, he's <laughs> he's seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is this is like a different scene where they're actually in the palace yeah so i'm wondering if that if that meal takes place in like java like a like a dining room in the palace because in the palace we've really only seen the the, the catacomb um mm-hmm. jail cells uh the throne room and the rancor pit yeah so they're adding a lot to this play set and so yeah they really we are the, we get the 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 crow's nest roof area um so yeah so that could be just i don't think that's where jabba would fit <laughs> at that table but he probably no. could have taken it from somebody else um, i mean yeah we don't know we don't know he could have done some remodeling um but yeah it ends like the last line of the trailer is uh boba fett sort of telling them to please speak freely so it's like he's he wants some input he doesn't want to rule with an iron fist and right. i like that it's we're getting some character growth this is now not a bad guy is what we're led to believe he's he can be a bit of a dark anti-hero guy but we still want to be well, rooting for him the thing is other we don't know much about bofet still in his history um because we really as far as live action is concerned we've only seen him in episode two uh five and six mm-hmm. so and i know there's stuff too. Yeah, and I know there's stuff in in Clone Wars, but um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of space in there where we haven't seen him. Yeah, I um, mean, even with the stuff, even if you are including all the animated and all the canon stuff, like there's still a lot to tap into the uh, like intervening years and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, flashbacks. I don't. I mean, I like I before we saw this trailer, I would have put money on there being quite a few flashbacks and we seeing a lot of the stuff and this being uh, more of a revenge tale like him going back through all the people that he had, had wronged him over the years and going no, fuck no, you no. i'm in i'm in power now but it really doesn't like not that from this trailer it doesn't feel like that that's what we're gonna get maybe mm. this maybe this is all from the first episode or two and that he tries well, it this way and it goes wrong and so he's like screw it i'm just gonna go and kick everyone's ass like if you remember from watching like mando season one and season two the trailers only showed like the first parts yeah it was yeah it was so so early on um speaking of flashbacks if they do do flashbacks i would love to see daniel logan i think that'd be great he's i he's, think he seems that would so be a reason for it. me to want it Definitely. that'd be a reason for me to want it so um that'd be great uh scott asks do you think or want to see Cad Bane on this show. I know, you, you I know first. Uh I again before we saw this trailer, I would have said yes, I think we will. Want is tougher. Uh I don't want it for the sake of it. I don't want it just for the sake of it. But if it fits the story, if they were going back through all the people that had wronged him, then sure. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. Uh it's an interesting it's a cool character design and I like Duros as aliens. Um, um, you can keep the voice from the the series exactly because it'll be a heavy makeup. Um, yeah. I don't. I just don't. I, I don't I, think I'm getting. It's I'm getting a little, little overwhelmed with the Filoni characters. Yeah. Um, making appearances. I uh, think like like it's almost like expected now. I think I more likely. I think more likely is reference to him um and possibly if this becomes a multiple season show then we get a tease of him at the end and then some stuff for season two like i think cad bane could be the show's dark saber sort of at the end 
where maybe oh, yeah. we just see we just see a Duros putting on the hat or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And he could have been referred to earlier on as like the person who put the dent in his helmet or something like that. Um <laughs> Like yeah. that, that would be fine. Or like if Fennec mentions, like you know, because she's had an inter- altercations with Cad Bane and stuff like that. It's like, you know, we don't ever know what ever happened to him. And Boba would just be like, uh, if he comes, we'll deal with it, sort of thing. Yeah, I don't. I I, I don't I think it's necessary. Be, we've already got Boba Fett in a TV show. Um, Mandalorian has splintered off into other Clone War stuff. Like it, 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 I, I just want like other things. I don't want everything to be a crossover, with mm-hmm. the exception of Han Solo, uh, and Chewbacca. Solo is great at being its own thing. Of course, we got the inclusion of Darth Maul at the end. Yeah, but that's such a throwaway scene that didn't need to be in the movie at all. Um, I'm okay with it. But there, I, I like. I'm fine with having. If you want to tell a story of uh of a uh, you know a previous character like boba fett do it the way they did solo don't introduce anything if you're planning on doing the season two maybe cad mm-hmm. bane could be your darth maul um well all the crew uh, stuff that was given to like people behind the scenes for this show was book of boba fett season one so because yeah. based on that a lot of people are assuming that they are hoping to get or do more that this isn't a limited series like we know that obi-wan's going to be a limited series um i like the thing that i like about this is too is like i'm assuming this is going to be around the same amount of episodes as mandalorian yeah i'd say six to eight i think so it can't cost too much just to produce eight episodes and make them nice and good and then be like you know we could do another eight like it's yeah. not it's not breaking the bank. I like no. that they're short seasons. Um, I, I, I yeah. I'm so so much more here for short seasons of everything these days. Yeah. Um, yeah me too. Scott D asks, uh, Mando had Luke show up. Boba have Han show up. Not okay with that. Ralph, go for it. Um, for me, I would say stick in Alden Ehrenreich. But the problem is that we have seen um, Han Solo at this stage. We've seen him in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. And so, like, Alden Ehrenreich should play young Han Solo prior. Put a beard on him. Do the Battlefront 2 or Battlefield 2 Han Solo with a beard. Put a beard on Alden Ehrenreich and have him dress the same and see everyone complain about that. I don't even think I feel like the with Boba Fett and Han Han was just a job yeah of many yeah um they have taken away the old like the old legends what is now legends thing of them being sort of constantly in each other's business go on if you do have Han flashback Alden Ehrenreich great perfect okay um <laughs> yeah, they and I like that they've taken away that the two are sort of always each other's foils. Yeah. Um if we if they were gonna do that, we would have had Boba Fett in solo. They didn't do that and I'm fine with it. Um they've crossed paths a couple of times, probably. Uh Han certainly knows who Boba Fett is he, enough to be afraid of him as a, a ruthless bounty hunter. But he was a job. He's just a job. Um and he's worth a lot yeah. to him. You know, that's that's the line, isn't it? So just just in the background flashback that's fine and like if, like, if... like a boshek like he's boshek great like you see him at the bar and he gets up and walks away yeah i don't know if alden Ehrenreich would do that but i want more of him i i just he... yeah i mean i i hope that we get more of him in the lando series and that's, that's where of... i want it that's where i think we don't need han until we get to lando and that point we can have more of Han pop up or have both of them at a bar in a flashback and mm-hmm. then when we do the Lando series mm-hmm. have that scene and you could have Bobo Fett walk out walk by in the foreground of that series and have them in the background of this series yeah I don't we don't I I want this show to Kirkman stand shit. on its own though it doesn't need all the connections like I'm 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 with you on it I I'm way more forgiving than you are of the connections, but mm. 
I also want it to stand on its own. If they work and it's a story reason for the cameo or whatever, then cool. But for the sake of it, I don't want it. I don't want it there just because it's a recognizable character. We've got Boris Boba Man. Fett. Yeah. Like that's that species I'm all for. Like, br- give me more of the species that we know and love. Um, right. Bring in some stuff from the sequel trilogy. Bring in like the old stuff, like everything, all of it. Um, but yeah, characters themselves, no. Like, I understand it f- to a certain point, like especially at the beginning of Mandalorian, because it's n- it's a new character. But mm. people know Boba Fett. They're selling it on his name, like it's. It's the book of Boba Fett. So we've got that. We've got that linchpin of a character. So we don't need the others. So any any hopes that you do want? Anything that you want to do see I mean, from the show? More based on this trailer, more of this, more of this tone where it's he's yeah. that he's the gangster who's trying to do things differently. He's trying to shake the system up. He's still gonna be an outlaw, basically. Uh it's still gonna be the underworld, but he's He's trying to change things. He's trying to be a bit more wanna, democratic with it. You um, don't want an Anakin Force ghost? No, <laughs> uh, there is no reason for it. Let's let's not. Have is there that. anything? Is there Hayden anything Christensen the doesn't need to be in this one. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything from the novels that you kind of hope to see any storyline, any sort of? I I didn't. I wasn't things. never a big Boba Fett fan, so I didn't Captain read Rex. everything. <laughs> I mean, I'd be fine with like other clones. If there are clones still kicking around at this time, that might be interesting just to see him. and have Tem play them as well. Like, so if we oh do get God. Rex play, <laughs> um, yeah, if we get some more clones, yeah, no force. I'm with you, Fetz. Yeah, let's have no a show force. with no force. We don't need it no in force, this. No force, no lightsabers. No force. I don't no even want to see the dark. I don't even want to see the dark saber. It shouldn't be. We shouldn't get it in this. Will um, we get Sabine. Sabine would be okay. I'd be okay with it if it depends on what they're doing with Ahsoka because she needs to be in that show. I'm. I want right. her to be in that show. Uh, Remnant clones. Uh, depends on if they. Okay been with, I feel like I'd be okay with that. Yeah. I feel like I'd be okay with that because he is so closely tied to clones. Exactly. And to to sort of explore him being an unaltered clone, mm-hmm. coming face to face with clones, mm-hmm. and they're gonna look the same. Like, what does that do to you mentally? Now, here's one for you. Would you be okay with Omega popping up? Omega from Bad Batch. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I. I, I feel like that's one that I, I think mean, would I, be quite interesting. It would I'm, take away the tension of Bad Batch season two because we know that she'd survive. Right. But they're not going to kill the kid. Like, you, you, like they're not going to kill the kid. It's right. a cartoon. I feel like with like let's say use ah- Ahsoka for an example. Mm-hmm. She was in Clone Wars. That was her story. Yeah. Then she shows up in someone else's story in Rebels. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she showed up in someone else's story, Mandalorian. Yeah. So it kind of makes it feel really small, the universe. Mm-hmm. Omega's only had been in one story. I think her character is tied to this character. I think she that's the difference. She come into the show. I think it'll be okay for her to come into the show. Um, but... Um, I don't want to also see her in Ahsoka and then also see her in blank. blank. I haven't, I haven't gone back through bad batch, but if I remember rightly, there is some line about her being unaltered. Obviously there is some genetic differences, mm-hmm. but there is some, like, she is more true Django than even the rest of the clones who have had tweaks yeah. and mods and things like that. She's... And her character is tied to Fennec Shand. Yes, she's got the connection to Fennec, definitely already. She's got the connection to Boba. She's basically Boba's sister. Yeah. So I'd be interested. I think I'd that be would okay be okay with Omega. Yeah. She'd be younger. Good She'd chance. be in her what late twenties, early thirties. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. So yeah, you can have a surprise casting yeah. there. Yeah. Scott would love another battle, air space battle with Slay One using all its weapons like an attack of clones. I'd be all for it. I think we um, I'd love to see more of yeah, Slave One in in combat. Fitz, I'd love to see the a, re- a rival mass bounty hunter type to be revealed as a clone. That would be cool. That'd be interesting. Someone else that's sort of the the um 
Jodo cast or whatever it is. Like he was, I think he was in the Masters of Terracasi video game and some old stories. <laughs> it was yeah. like in the in the years that Boba Fett was presumed dead, he was claiming to be Boba Fett, and then they had a, a big old fight. Um, <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, maybe someone. Like, but we know that some people did believe Boba Fett to be dead. So I don't know. Maybe someone was trying to blag it. <laughs> we have um, to see the most iconic prop Star Wars. Um, keep Han's subscribed dice. to this channel for more information on Han's dice uh, coming up in a future oh. bonus episode. Is it going to happen? It will happen for it. It will happen. Uh, I'm going to try and lock that episode down when I get back from Spain. All right. Sounds good. Um, I don't know if I have any more thoughts. I'm way more excited about this show than I was before. Uh, not being the biggest Boba Fett fan, I am a fan of seeing Star Wars stories outside of the Empire and Jedi and Rebels and Skywalkers. Yeah. So let's stick to that. Let's got not get too many crossover characters. I'm I'm totally, totally on board. With the show. I... I'm a bigger fan of Tamora Morrison as Boba Fett than I am of the character of Boba Fett on his own. Agreed. I I really like Tamora Morrison in this role. Yeah. I think he is great. I think he was great in episode two. Uh, I think he's was great when he was on stage whenever, like, whatever celebration it was that I saw him at when he was on stage with... Um, uh, the guy who played Captain Typho was hosting one of the stages and the two of them both being Kiwis, like bouncing off of each other were really fun. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been a big fan of the guy since then. And Daniel Logan seems like a great guy as well. Like, so yeah, I'd be cool with that. Cool. Any more thoughts? I got nothing. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for it. Um, I like to thank everybody that joined us in the chat. Um, yeah. We'll be doing this every week when the show comes out. We'll have guests. We'll have fun. Uh, join us here at liveactionstarwars.com. And um, yeah, this is going to be a bonus episode. Follow uh, the socials to find YouTube. out what time we, we do things. It won't be as last minute as this week where we just did right. it. Within an hour, we were up and running. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll give you a bit more notice so that you can plan your day. And this is our Book of Boba Fett studio with our with our uh, our red logo, which yeah. is cool. It's taken directly from a Marvel comic book. Um, mm -hmm. That red color. Same and thankfully, green. I'm looking at the title screen now. They're keeping with the the green and the red. Yeah, it's that's good. great. It's great colors. All right. So thanks for joining us. Um, we'll catch you next time. Until then, may the force be with you. Yep. <laughs> that's it that's where you say punch it no i just said yep oh i'm going I out and yep I did. oh my god <laughs> i made the reference earlier didn't yeah. realize it now I bought it back. all right all right dad <laughs> ton weezy <laughs>